Hey guys, I'm gonna show you a little little spacer I've been making for the uh, forks. Haven't talked to you guys in a while, been really busy. I uh, appreciate all you guys buying up the flywheel keys and the head gaskets. Um, really cool little pieces that uh, make a huge difference. And uh, this is just something else I wanted to show you guys. Um, so basically, right now I'm still not able to get my hands on some fork springs. So what I've come up with is I made some 10 millimeter spacers. And uh, I'm going to show you how to put them in really super simple. You can take the forks off and do it that way, but I figured I'd do it this way because it's easier. You don't have to take the tire off or anything like that. You just pop your bars off, unthread the tops, and uh, slide the forks up. But... Uh, you won't be able to use your fork wrench um, because the handlebar clamps are in the way. So, uh, you know, if you, I mean, the tops aren't on that tight. So if you use a uh, crescent wrench, something that you're not going to mark up the cap with, um, they thread right out really super simple. But, uh, so on a spring rate scale, a 10 millimeter spacer um, would change, let's say, a 43 kilogram spring would change it to a 45 kilogram spring not a huge difference um, you know but but enough to make a difference I should say um, doing it in small increments just testing it out Dave's got a set I over a uh, second day air Dave down a set so he can try some out um, but really simple and uh, I just wanted to show you real quick so this is uh, this tube is basically a spring preload tube. Uh, on the other end, it's got a bushing to keep it sliding straight um, when the fork caps are down. But, uh, I don't know, I hope you guys can see this. It's, the camera is a little far away, but... So basically, there's a washer right here. It's a beveled cup washer, which holds the spring preload tube in place. When I pull this down, you'll see the dampening rod. Um, so basically what you're going to do is slide this washer down and then you're going to slide this bushing underneath. Just like that. Really simple. Uh, I machined them so they're 22 millimeters outside diameter so they fit in the recessed part of the beveled washer and uh, it's 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 really that easy I mean you slide them under there slide your forks back up let me move my block that I got here That's it. Um, really simple job. Just thread your fork tops back down, put your handlebars back on. And, uh, you know, for any of the bigger guys or the guys that are doing some jumping and uh, MX riding like me and Dave, it's the next best alternative to having stiffer fork springs without being able to get them right now. And, uh, if anybody's interested, just let me know. Um, I got a few sets made up. Um, and uh, they should work pretty decent. I'm going to try mine out. Seems how you just watched me put them in there. And Dave's going to try his out this weekend. And uh, oh, I'll be making some more videos soon. But I do appreciate everybody buying uh, the plywood keys and the head gaskets and everything else that I've made and uh, you guys have been great I'll make some more videos soon maybe a riding video this weekend and uh, we'll talk to you soon thanks